Hey guys, Dono here. Hi, Renato Segeco, Floriology Institute and BloomNet. Today I'm really excited I have Renato here and joining our channel and uh, we have a really good subject to talk about. I know maybe some of the people maybe already know uh, Renato. He is uh, specialized for websites, business. We'll c come up and talk about business. All right, Donald, so what are we talking about today? So, Renato, I know you uh, know about the business in our industry. Mm -hmm. So, what is the benefit to using social media on for a shop owner? For, for floral businesses? Yeah. Um, well, you know, I think, uh, you know, for several years, uh, you know, people have always thought of social media as a way to sell their products, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but I think, uh, I think it's, social media is really an opportunity to uh, build your brand name. So you have your website, that's really where the business happens, that's where you do sell your product. But what you uh, should be doing with social media is extending and expanding uh, your brand. And this is the uh, real important thing about social media, you really need to use it to engage your customer. Because if you think about uh, most websites, um, you know, it's tough to engage mm -hmm, you know, your customer mm -hmm, via mm -hmm, website. Mm -hmm. They're really, and really the purpose of the website is for them to visit, for them to see what they want, and for them to click buy. Mm -hmm. With social mm -hmm. media, they could see your style or your artistry mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and then engage with you by leaving comments mm -hmm. or sharing mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, your business with, with their friends. I think I totally agree with you. You know, one time I was on, in the conference, I gave a little co a demonstration about social media. Mm -hmm. the, one of the students said, you know, I have a website, but nobody coming, nobody oh, checking right. my website. I say, you know, just like a screwdriver, you buy a really good screwdriver, but you didn't use it. But I didn't use it. It right. suck. Right. You know, so you have to think about like how you engage with the people mm -hmm. by using social media. I think it's, it's really important to draw the attention from your social media to your website. No, that's true. I just mentioned that, you know, social media is a great tool to engage with uh, your customer or potential customers, exposing them to your artistry. But um, one thing that is critical with social media that you need to also use social media to drive traffic mm -hmm. back to your website mm -hmm, by mm -hmm. embedding links within mm -hmm, social mm -hmm, media mm -hmm. and drive them to specific pages of your website. So, um, you know, I think for, for those of you that pay attention to your website analytics, uh, you'll, and you do, and a lot of you are using, uh, say, Facebook mm -hmm. um, as your main social media, mm -hmm. you'll find that uh, uh, Facebook will be the second most popular uh, refer Mm -hmm. to your website. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people will find your website hopefully w uh, by doing searches, you know, organic traffic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then you'll see number two, if you're doing everything right with social media, it should be like Facebook or if you're using Twitter, mm -hmm, it should be Twitter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So a lot of that stuff um, should be driving uh, traffic back mm -hmm, to your website. Mm -hmm. So um, I think the reason why a lot of people don't find traffic with their websites is because yeah, you're right, uh, it's a tool and if, you, if you're not using these tools uh, correctly, uh, you won't get any result. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But but I did want to ask you though. Um, okay. So like I was talking, I was answering uh, from the perspective of a flower business mm -hmm. and how um, you know you could build your brand, uh, like your shop brand or your floral business brand using social media. But I know that you're you're pretty much uh, you know freelance designer that you want to um, share your personal brand. Um, how's it different? Um, I think shops owners. Uh, I mean, if, if it's file shops, I think you would, like you say, drive, drive the traffic to your website mm -hmm. and you want, you don't, you know, most of the people think social media is selling. It's not a selling tools. It's like you want to sell your style. You want to mm -hmm. show people uh, how creative you are or, or, or what events you're going to do and, and that kind of things. But for my perspective of my brand, um, I always selling style. You, you know, that's interesting that uh, that's been mentioned because you know I, I obviously follow uh, your stuff and um, I would say a lot of it is pretty much non-floral it's not mm -hmm, like you're mm -hmm, always mm -hmm. pushing uh, an arrangement mm -hmm, or pushing mm -hmm, a bouquet mm -hmm, or whatever mm -hmm. uh, but I think the last post I saw of yours was a, a, a shot of your shoes yes yes, yes. <laughs> One thing is, I, I try not to push it flowers every every post. Okay. Because maybe sometimes you're sick of it. You you don't want to see flowers. I, I don't know again flowers. Mm -hmm. I try to give us variety of 
post or different perspective of seeing things. Mm -hmm. So um, I try to sometimes when I travel, when I go to restaurant, and uh, they still want to know you. They don't want to just okay. flowers, flowers, flowers. So I think it's important for you to have variety of different way of posting, mm -hmm. but you still showing your style, like your, your dress or your for, for your things. So that's a good point. Um, you know, you're really trying to promote uh, your personality. Yes. So, yes. Uh, you as a person, uh, you're more than just a floral designer. Yes. Um, yes. You're a stylist. So what is the benefit of the social media? Well, well I mean, aside from a brand, um, I think uh, you know the best way to look at social media is engagement. Mm -hmm. Strictly look at it uh, as an opportunity that you could talk to your customers. So, um, you know, I, I just shared, uh, you know, like this like an idea here with the folks at the uh, Texas State Florist Association um, Floral Expo that uh, I, asked, I asked everyone in the audience, you know, how many people come into your store nowadays? So, you know, a lot of people raise their hands and say, well, I get about 10, I get about 12, you know, uh, I get about 15, but consider how many people visit your websites or visit your social media. That's getting into the hundreds if not thousands. So you are, uh, you have the, um, the opportunity to, especially with social, to uh, again put yourself out there and engage with them because remember with social they could comment on a video of yours, they could comment on a photo, uh, they could share that photo with their friends. Um, lots of opportunities and when, if, when they do comment you have the opportunity to comment right back, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, reach out mm -hmm, to them mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and just mm -hmm. say, oh, you know what, thank you so much for, uh, you know, for that comment or appreciating, uh, appreciating what we do uh, at, at the flower shop. Mm -hmm. um, and all of this could happen in real time because if you think of what social media is, it's, it's yeah, they're leaving comments, but you should uh, do your best to monitor, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, your page. To engage with engage your audience. Your customer, on, 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 on a real-time basis. Yeah. And that's really the power. So you're, you're, you're extending your personality, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you, uh, you mm -hmm. as uh, the shop owner, uh, and giving the opportunity for a broad range of customers that, you know, maybe some of them haven't bought from your store. But the fact is, if they have the experience where you know they engage with you on social media and they leave a comment and then they see that you're responding mm -hmm. I, I think that will leave uh, a wonderful impression uh, with that customer that oh you know what if that person mm -hmm. um, is you know engages with me on their social media then that's how they'll they'll treat me at the shop mm -hmm. when I come and mm -hmm. visit mm -hmm. There's sometimes, you know, I leave some comment with, with some people and then they come back to me as like a week later. It's like, duh. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> right, right, no. it's, it's, it's not engaging um, way away. Yeah. That, is, that is the problem. I know everyone is busy, but That's right. I try my hardest to engage with people way away yeah. because otherwise you're not going to have a conversation again. Yeah. Right. So, well, so you I know, think... I, I mean, I, I do understand that um, florists are busy, and it's not a situation where I'm I'm recommending that you guys are constantly on Facebook and have that that screen up and are just waiting for posts. But it's just good uh, practice to check in maybe every other hour, every two hours, every midday, at the end of the day. Um, you know, just whatever you could do, just make sure that you make it a habit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and you have consistency. Mm -hmm. So you won't have a situation where uh, you're responding to that person who left a comment a week ago. But you know what? I mean, even in that scenario, I would still say respond back, mm -hmm. you know, because it's still yet an opportunity. So, maybe, you know, people may think, oh, no, it's, it's already been a week and I shouldn't be responding. But uh, you know what? Respond. Thank you so much for today and uh, oh, joining our channel great. and yeah. thank you for uh, your expertise. I really appreciate your help. I hope everyone learning something today. We will do more this kind of video for, uh, for the shop owner, for a designer and crash your social media and make <laughs> more money. Out Absolutely. Of it. Yeah. So see you next time. Thank you. Thanks Donald. Bye guys. Bye.